what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here actually gonna be talking about scream 6 in this video here again today so when it comes to scream 6 we still haven't gotten to know who our new who our new cast members will be who will be joining our group of survivors this time around going into scream 6 which i think at this point is officially able to be stated that this has the most survivors out of any of the screen movies returning in screen six plus you have to of course still introduce these new group of characters i think the reason why we haven't learned anything of course is because of how screen five and the leaks and stuff that was just floating around online all the way through until release and you know you have people reading that stuff and going on about oh how that sounds so bad and uh you know that doesn't sound good well of course because you're not seeing how it's going to be brought to life you know how stuff is executed on screen of course can amplify any straightforward story that might sound pretty bland to you on paper so and that's exactly what i think we got with screen five i'm not saying that screen five was perfect uh because i i even got some flack for the score that i gave it <laughs> so when it comes to scream six and not getting any cast announcements cast announcements are probably going to happen this week with the new people if not this week the rumor right now is that we should expect it now sometime after they're done filming if i'm not mistaken that usually is what happens with a lot of movies they are shot and then you get cast announcements after they've been done getting shot and then i think the other thing was how they're going to be shot out of order well again i've talked about this in pretty my other videos like with my halloween in stuff movies typically yes will be shot out of order or in a sequence that is favorable to the time allotted for those people involved with the project so if you only have a certain amount of time with a certain actor her her or his scenes might get shot first to accommodate that and of course that's what the editing room is for that's what post-production is for assimilate all the scenes into a cohesive order that puts the narrative from beginning middle in you don't have to shoot it in order the movie can be edited into order that's the whole point of why we have technology why you have post-production why you have certain why you have editors they do much more than what you are accustomed to thinking they do uh, the movie has to be assembled in in order you can shoot a movie out of order and then put it together if you consider how i guess someone like myself and other creators make videos we could honestly shoot things in a certain sequence and then put them together in another way and put it out online that's just how it can be done that's what the technology allows us to do so when it comes to not having cast announcements i know people are bothered by it but i think it's pretty clear why we haven't had any announcements given what happened with screen 5 and its handling so we'll see how that ultimately impacts what little we do or don't find out about scream 6 i think that max will find out who one or two survivors will be this week i'm not saying you'll find out everybody and then as far as nev campbell i think nev at this stage is going to be is not going to be announced i do think nev will not be announced if she gets announced that's of course awesome i think they're going to not announce her to save her as a surprise in the movie and now the reason they're not going to announce her is because you know you have people who are instantly going to see that she wasn't announced they, oh she's not in the movie she's not in the movie you know this would be the person who instantly jumps to that conclusion because they're not accustomed to how certain things have been going on recently uh one of the biggest successes that did that just fine recently even though it got talked about all year round was spider-man no way home i'm not saying that nev campbell is going to have the same impact as a toby or a andrew garfield but it's like okay you don't have to announce this woman she is basically the heart and soul of the franchise you don't have to announce her you know when you have a heart and soul the a franchise can't operate without its heart so why do you always have to announce the presence of said heart you know what i'm saying if i just look at it that way and present it to you that way maybe that'll open some people's minds if you consider sydney prescott to be the heart and soul of the franchise that obviously means that a heart makes something operate so you don't always have to announce the presence of this heart the heart will present itself when it's ready to be presented in the movie which to me i'm thinking again will end up being what we's already rumored is that she'll appear in the movie at the end and she will set up the events of scream 7. we don't need to announce her if she's really not that integral to the narrative i think that's another thing people don't consider why are you going to announce her just to put put just to sell tickets when that announcement might fall on some disappointment for people when they go see the movie and sydney prescott is in the focus just like how they were already disappointed with scream 5 so it's like don't don't do it again so a lot of people they still have to remember a good chunk of people who go and see movies 
they're not doing all this in-depth research on them like those of you who watch my videos and watch other people's videos they're not doing that they're just going and seeing a movie they saw a promo for it they saw something about it they went out and saw it they might be a, they might be familiar with the series but they're not following it that heavily they know that Sidney Prescott is the star of these movies if there's someone who grew up with them but they don't get all the ins and outs of it so like they go into it not knowing that this isn't about sydney they didn't know what it was about sam carpenter so then they also end up leaving like oh that wasn't what i'm used to i that we didn't get that much sydney whereas someone like me already knowing that sydney wasn't going to be the focus this time around it had a year and some change to prep for that when it ultimately came i was already getting in tone with what we were getting from the movie i already knew sydney wasn't going to be the focus i knew they were trying to shift the story away from sydney so it really was nothing for me to be upset about when i've already had a long time to prepare for it if i got upset about it i mean it's really just ultimately my fault <laughs> but i think that sydney prescott's presence in this movie will be here you're just not going to get an announcement because if we all understand that she's the heart of the franchise the heart is what makes the what makes something work you don't have to always announce the presence of the obvious that's what i'll say that's how i'll frame it so other people might consider why she's not getting announced so that way of course when you see her it's that much better and i think it's also important to prove a point that this movie is not just a success because nev campbell was back in it i think you're giving her too much credit honestly when scream six is a box office hit it's not going to be because nev campbell was there and i think that's where i think an argument for that would be proven by not announcing her and i'm not against her being announced i just feel like a lot of people are also giving her too much credit about why screen five made a lot of money she was in screen four and that didn't do that well it all comes down to marketing and how are you presenting the movie to the masses how are you trying to spread spread it you know and also word of mouth you know with screen four it was horribly marketed it's just the god honest truth screen five was not horribly marketed it wasn't just solely because nev campbell was in it that's that's a horrible thing to think i would say it's a disservice to everything else also that went into making the movie successful in my opinion but the cast announcements hopefully i know some of you still holding out it comes out this week but most of you probably won't get it because of the spoilers let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video